Okay, wait, are we trans or trans? Yeah, it's uh, messing with the brake lines on the 3G master cylinder. We just threw in the old 2G one, and I've still got to mess with the bracket, make it look all pretty. But Tyler got that all switched out, and we took some brake lines off the car in the back, just to make it easier. Yeah, that's, that was like 30 minutes when we were done. <laughs> yeah, drop in and go. Exactly. So now I just got to make that bracket beautiful, and then we can get started and putting the engine in. Yeah, clean the back of the block, throw it in together. On a funny side note, even though this is an automatic, someone never put in a oh, very right. you know, pilot bushing bearing. It's so, interesting. They never did it. <laughs> That's scary. I was playing with fate. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dirty. Go home. Almost took my nail with it. There you go. What's my blue lock tie again? Yep. That's what I do best. Gotta make sure the threads absorb it first, and then you back them out, and then put a whole nother load on it, and then put it in. Never be too safe. Never. Never be too safe. Never have too much Loctite. Loctite? What's that? Not enough. That's what it is. If you're not buying a whole tube for a bolt, you're not doing it right. Isn't there a beveled side? There is a beveled. They're both beveled. Oh, okay. That's a tough one. Lube her up. Something about it just don't want to work. Yeah, that one went right in like it was supposed to. <laughs> this one did not. What year is that Galant motor over there? Been ninety eight or something. Well, this is a ninety seven and up block. That could have been small bullshit difference that they had between ninety fives and ninety sevens. Could be, yeah. yeah. It's on there now, though. I don't know how well that's coming in, but those are the instructions for the uh, seven bolt flywheel bolts Man. by uh, ARP. So 95 foot pounds, alternating you know, torque, and then I believe it's red Loctite and uh, just using the ARP assembly loop at the top of the shank. I got the red Loctite right here in the blue. Yeah, in a blue bottle. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. How confusing is that? The blue also comes in a blue bottle. <gasps> Does the green come in a blue bottle? Actually, it does. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm supposed to dribby drabby. Yeah, and then lube on the top of the shank. Okay, well, that feels maybe correct. It's your car, not mine. <laughs> <You're driving. laughs> not my safety. <laughs> not my safety. I just don't want to hear the phone call. <laughs> I'll be in the passenger seat, anyways. A lot of the time, I will be.
Last one. Okay. There we are. <laughs> it's clutching yet. Well, I know a good way to do it. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right. Look like clutch drop all day. All day. <laughs> Breaking that clutch. Breaking it. Good thing just to get used to putting blue Loctite on bolts. Anything that moves or vibrates a lot. Yeah. So about three quarters of this motor. Perfect. And that is a X Street Light flywheel too. So this it's is. lighter in weight. It helps with that RPM range. Yep, yep. Rev up quicker. Supposedly, I haven't got to fill it yet. No, nope. as soon as we were ready to go, I motored shit out on us. It's it's not the lightest flywheel out there. I didn't want too light because I, I hear that can affect idle. Idle or uh, just daily driving. So I didn't really want to mess with that, so I got, I picked the one that was still kind of on the weighty side without being too light. Mm -hmm. There's there's a couple of them out there. And there's ones that are really light, I think down to... Cadenza. Nine or 10 pounds. Yep. And then this one I think is around... 12. Yeah, 12 or... It's 11 or 14. 12. Yeah, something like oh, that. Somewhere, somewhere in there, I just can't remember now. It's yeah. been a while. Then it has. It's not gonna be yellow for long, but damn it, I'm gonna enjoy the color. Yeah. Beautiful. What's gonna happen? Well, before we can move the engine and get it into position to put in that, we don't have a lot of room. Yeah, we put this table in the way and now it's covered in crap on the floor and on the bottom and that's in our engine hoist area. Yeah. So we gotta clean all that. Of course, clean all that so we have room to put all that. Yeah, to swing it. So, um, everything's in the way. And we're arguing back and forth on put the trans on or put the trans on. I think we just put it on like we've always done. That's so much Take our tilting. time. Done it before. No, I'm just, I'm just tired of the fight. I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more, dude. The thing is, you've never done it the other way. How do you know that's not a worse fight? That's a lot of room. It's a lot of room, but you gotta, you're gonna have to bench press that thing while centering it yeah, you, you're on the engine. It. All you gotta do is slide it to me, roll it on my chest, and just deadlift up, and you're gonna help me caress it. You'll be like the top guy that keeps it. <sighs> All right, let's the get clear. Over there. Let's, yeah, <laughs> the engine's over there. Let Is me this get your it. Ball? <laughs> uh, we need Jimmy right now. <laughs> you see my shoes? Tubular. <laughs> but uh, no, I think it would be easier to just the best bench press it up in there. Bench, bench press, press, press it. I'm so tired. Just, yeah. he well, yeah, let's sleep. let's get all this crap cleaned up first, then yeah, figure it out as we yeah, go. Yeah, move the but we're gonna move this over here and accomplish something. All right, all right, wait, are we trans or trans? Fluid. As soon as I dipped it down, it blah! You ready? Nope. No, hold on, it's not in the spline yet. Well, I'm not just screwing this thing in, am I?
I got screwed in. I got screwed in there. Start it again. Yeah, start it up. That sounds pretty rough. Man. This is a chance to cheat. It's in!